Welcome to eDynamic Learning's Teacher Resources Tutorial. Teacher resources are built into every eDynamic Learning course and are accessible in the same way. Once logged into your teacher app, click on the course tile for the course whose teacher resources you'd like to access. The teacher view of the course activities page is nearly identical to what students see when they access their coursework, but there is one key addition for teachers, the Teacher Resources folder. The Teacher Resources folder is always located at the top of the folder system for each course. You'll notice that the Teacher Resources folder has a special icon, and this icon indicates that its content is for teachers' eyes only and that students do not have access. It is extremely important to note, if you customize your courses, it's crucial that this hidden from students option, denoted by the eye icon, is never turned off for this folder, otherwise the course will be compromised. Now that we've located the Teacher Resources folder, it's time to dig in. When you click the Teacher Resources folder, the folder will expand to show its powerful assets. The pacing guide, teaching guides to support various implementation strategies, and answer keys. The pacing guide offers suggestions for delivery of your eDynamic learning course in both a teacher-directed blended learning classroom and in a student-directed, teacher-facilitated online classroom. It provides a suggested time frame and an appropriate pace for the delivery of course materials, designating the number of weeks to teach each unit, as well as the approximate number of class periods to devote to the unit components. Next, the Blended Learning Guide provides instructional methods that can be used with any eDynamic learning course, whether you're in a blended or hybrid classroom. The strategies offered support a variety of blended learning models and easily integrate into any course, unit, or activity. The strategies in the Blended Learning Guide address different learning styles, integrate multiple modalities, and are differentiated to address diverse student needs. The Online and Continuous Learning Guide offers best practices and support to not only keep students learning in a virtual environment, but to help them thrive. It incorporates strategies for active learning, achieving in an online environment, fostering community amongst teachers and students, and creating a robust and meaningful online learning experience. The Inquiry-Based Learning Guide is aimed at increasing classroom engagement by encouraging students to ask questions, conduct research, and explore new ideas. This guide offered strategies and techniques to encourage curiosity, think critically using real-world scenarios, develop problem-solving and research skills, and take greater ownership over their learning. The Project-Based Learning Guide serves as a how-to guide for teachers to facilitate project-based learning and bring more real-world scenarios, challenges, and rich tasks into the classroom. This can act as a lesson plan framework complete with the integration of Bloom's taxonomy, tips for scaffolding student learning, facilitating higher-order thinking, differentiation for students, and more. The Interpersonal and Employability Skills Learning Guide shares strategies to help students develop key skills that will not only be relevant to school, but to their career and life as well. Concepts such as goal setting, critical thinking, collaborating with others, leading by example, and communicating digitally are all included as well as opportunities to put these skills into practice. In addition to the pacing and teaching guides, you will also find suggested answers for each unit of your course. While all summative quizzes and tests are auto-graded by the system, students will be asked to complete written responses for critical thinking questions, discussions, labs, and activities that require teacher grading. The suggested answers provide key insights for teachers as to concepts that should be found in a good student response, while offering wiggle room for teachers to make their own determinations as to what is and is not an acceptable answer. When applicable, you will also find the grading rubric that was provided to students to help guide scoring. That brings us to the end of the Teacher Resources Tutorial. If you have any questions, please view this tutorial again or contact us directly at one 877-585-2029.